Hi, uh, this is going. This is Jeff Langloy. This is going to be your first uh, learning assignment here as you begin your journey to improved health. So the first thing that everybody needs to know about when they come into this office here is they need to know about Weston A. Price and this book here written called Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. So in my mind, this is the greatest book ever written on nutrition. This book was written in 1939 by this guy here, Weston A. Price. So Weston A. Price was the president of the American Dental Association. So he was the head of it, and he wrote this book in 1939. So he, by observing in his dental practice, found that they had a lot more tooth decay in his office. And he began to wonder if it was, was what people were eating. So at the same time, um, National Geographic was reporting on people that were living in remote villages around the world that had perfect teeth. They had no tooth decay. So Dr. Price, with his own money, packed up his suitcase and took his camera along, and he went to 12 different areas, remote villages, went to 12 different areas of the world. I just listed a few of them here. So he went to every continent, and he would hike, have to hike for days or travel by canoe to get to these remote areas of the world where people only ate what they could kill or what they could grow. Um, so these are just some of the areas. He took 17,000 pictures of people's mouths. And what he found when he got there was amazing. These are just some of the pictures here in the book. Um, lots of these are, I'm going to show you a picture here. This lady right here. Can you see that, Andy? Mm -hmm. Cool. So this lady's 90 years old. And like I said, he took 17,000 photographs. So we have records here and documentation that these people had perfect teeth and they had no tooth decay. They also actually did excavations and looked at skulls here where we have perfect teeth and what's called a perfect dental arch where um, there's a perfect, the shape of the roundness of the mouth is actually considered perfect. So, so Dr. Price, 17,000 pictures, the head president of the American Dental Association, no tooth decay, also found they, were, they didn't have diseases, they didn't have mental illness, there wasn't heart disease, there wasn't cancer, there was no diseases, and they only ate what they could kill or what they could grow. And on the next video, I'm going to talk about some of the traditional aspects of their diet. Okay, part two of this is that Dr. Price, he was curious about their nutrition and how many nutrients they were getting. So he actually brought their foods back. He had food shipped from all over the world to his clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. And he actually analyzed the food in his lab. And again, he paid for all this with his own money. And when he analyzed the food that the native people ate compared to American foods in the 1930s, what he found was that the native people with perfect teeth, great physiques, living to be 100 years old without any health problems, uh, were getting four times the minerals in their diet, from like calcium, magnesium, zinc, phosphorus, things we've been talking about, four times. And they actually got 10 times the vitamin A, D, and K than Americans were getting in the 30s from animal fats. These vitamins are only found in animal fat. So they are not found in plant fats. So like coconut oil is a good fat, but what's way better than coconut fat is things like butter and lard and ghee and bacon grease and things like that because they have a lot of A, D, and K if the animals are raised properly. So vitamin A, D, and K are essential for your mineral absorption. So if your body does not have enough of these, you cannot absorb your minerals and you cannot utilize your proteins at all. So we must be getting A, D, and K. That's why I'm so big on butter. Um, if you think you have a dairy allergy, then usually ghee will work really well. So we want to saturate your body with nutrition from nutritious foods like animal fat to get your vitamin A, D, and K so that you absorb your minerals. 
and you utilize your proteins.